Vicharak Axon just got a serious quality of life upgrade with a convenient multi boot menu, just like the Grab boot menus you may have seen on x86 based systems. Now, to be clear, Axon always had this device priority based multi boot option. You needed to plug and plug the storage devices to use the alternative or fallback boot media, but that changes today for something way more simple and powerful. We will show you two ways to make it work. Starting with the easier option using apt install. If you already have your Axon set up and functioning as usual, then all you need to do is to update your package repository, install this one package, and reboot. That's it. While rebooting, spam press Ctrl Q when the Vicharak logo appears on screen. And you should enter into the uBoot boot menu with a list of devices to choose from. Select the device you would like to boot into and press enter. By the way, just choosing a device from the boot menu doesn't prioritize it for the next boot. If you would like to set a particular storage device as the default boot option, then select that option and press shift D to set it as the default for the future boot ups. But if you have botched the installation on your Axon or want to run a fresh setup with multi boot support, then let me show you how you can get that up and running. We will show you how you can set it up with an external boot media like NVMe, micro SD, or USB thumb drive, all of which share the same method and flashing image, by the way. You can also flash the MMC with its own multi boot image, but the Muscrom mode of flashing internal media is a bit more involved. So, for that, please follow the official docs or the video guide. In this video, we will flash the image on a micro SD card. To write the image to the card, you can either use Linux native CLI tools like DD or cross platform GUI tools like Balena HR which we are going to do here. Once the card is written, pop it into Axon and power it up. Make sure to spam press Ctrl Q when the Vicharak logo appears and that should get you to the multi boot menu. The first time Axon is booted from a freshly flashed image, it runs some housekeeping tasks, which includes uniquely marking the devices so that they can be identified later. After the housekeeping, it will reboot again and at this time it will be ready for use. Just like before, if you would like to change the default boot option, set it with Shift D. But what if just having a boot menu is not enough for you? What if you want to wield the ultimate power to fully control the U boot? Yes, sure, just come down and select the U boot console from the menu. Or even better, while booting, Press Ctrl C instead to enter into the U-Boot console directly. Remember, this is a very low level territory and all the guardrails are off. Make sure you know what you're doing. It's absolutely possible to turn your action into a paperweight by taking some wrong turns. But if you do know what you're doing, and we're going to assume that you do, then here's where you can check or update the environment verify or override storage devices, even configure the network stack to load up boot images from remote servers even. Multibooting on ARM single board computers usually come with the main course of voodoo dark magic and a side dish of pain. So when Vicharak showed me that they are working on a multiboot U-boot menu, I just had to give it a try. And I think they nailed it. Go ahead and give it a try.